The Terra Luna Classic proposals continue to come in. The Terra Luna Classic price, however, is now once again testing levels of support as opposed to testing levels of resistance. So this isn't necessarily the most bullish signal that we have seen in terms of price performance on Terra Luna Classic, but there's a lot of good indicators ahead because there's a lot of proposals that are currently passing. And we're going to be talking about those proposals in this video because at the, look, at the current time, man, Terra Luna Classic is getting outshined by a lot of other cryptocurrencies, especially Jasmine Coin right now. We had a lot of people excited about Jasmine Coin in the live stream yesterday, ripping up beyond a penny, and already today, it's up another 37%. So if you guys hold Jasmine, let me know down in the comments below because you got to be very, very happy at the moment, ripping up as high as it is. And of course, wild, wild expectations and price predictions for how high it can go. But let's discuss Terra Luna Classic, the price action, the proposals, and if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2024 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us, become a pro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you're getting that 5%. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchange, Changes where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff. You get KuCoin and Binance down there. Now, KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. And finally, thank you to everybody going out to Amazon, grabbing your favorite pro merch. Going out to Amazon, grabbing your favorite ship merch, literally shopping for anything on Amazon if you use the links in the description below because you guys are burning Shiba Inu coin by doing so. I know it's not Terra Luna Classic, but I'm telling you guys right now, nobody used the Terra Luna Classic link, so thank you for using the Shiba Inu coin link. Now, I want to talk about price just briefly because it's down 25 to 3% today, and we do have some, we have two red candles on the chart here that show Terra Luna Classic maybe curling back over. Now we get some good news with it, we get some bad news with it. The good news is, if you throw an ascending trend line on the chart, going from the 9,000 point per coin lows that we have recently hit, up to the current levels at about 12,000 points per coin, you can see that we are still above that trend line, which is a bullish signal. However, we're testing support. We are no longer testing resistance. Terra Luna Classic may be running out of steam, especially if the overall crypto market runs out of steam and begins to pull back. Bitcoin testing 53,000 and coming back down to 51,000. Terra Luna Classic testing 14,000, coming back down to 12,000. There's a lot of analysts and CEOs out there who expect March to lead to a pullback. So just be very careful if you guys are considering adding at these stages and so on. A lot of people are predicting a short-term pullback. Now, what's not short-term? The future of the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. And we have several proposals out there. Now, tax-to-gas implementation is not passing. This is proposal 12067. We're not going to jump into this one because we have a tax-to-gas final that is passing. The next one, staking guidelines for centralized exchanges on the Terra Classic blockchain. Overwhelming no votes on this proposal, so not something that we have to be concerned about right now. And honestly, I don't know if we can or should be telling centralized exchanges what they're going or what they should be doing with Terra Luna Classic. You know, when you look at it that way, uh, you have to differentiate between on-chain data and on-exchange data. These exchanges, they make up their own rules. They make up their own taxes. You're essentially just trading back and forth between their accounts, not actual blockchain transactions there. Now, first proposal that is passing here, it is proposal 1270, and it's a paper job, practicable implementation by the Joint Layer 1 Task Force and TCC Cooperation Revised. This proposal, it's set to end on February 24th, so it still does have a few days left, but it seems as though it is going to pass with flying colors. 76.5% yes votes, 
1.9% no, a surprising 14% no with veto, and 7% voting to abstain. 431 billion Terra Luna Classic has been voted for, and all nodes has voted. So it seems as though this vote is going to be locked in, and we're going to have the paper job practice implementation by the Joint Layer 1 Task Force there. Excellent to see, because that's what we should be doing, man. Not paying these guys for work not completed. Paying these guys for work completed. Now, moving on to the next one is the tax to gas implementation final. Now, I believe that this is a spend proposal. Yes, it is a spend proposal with a $24,000 budget. $5,000 is to be paid up front. $9,500 is to be paid approximately four weeks after. $9,500 after the work is completed. Now, I don't know what they need this upfront cost for. Uh, I know that these dudes aren't out there spending massive amounts of money for equipment and so on. But what, I mean, at this point, it is better than just giving them $24,000 up front for research and development and hoping they actually develop something after their research. This proposal is set to end on February 24th, and it is also passing at the moment. 65.72% yes votes, 10% no, 16% no with veto, and 8% voting to abstain. All nodes has voted on this one. And it seems as though it's going to pass with 423 billion Terra Luna Classic accounted for so far. It is past quorum. We have set the minimum initial deposit to 1 million Terra Luna Classic. Now, this simply means that you're increasing the deposit fees to go to the voting stages. This is getting overwhelming support. Now, this is, we've tried to do this for quite some time now, and the 1 million deposit seems to be what people are favoring with 88% yes votes, 10% no, 0.43% no with veto, and 1% voting to abstain. 584 billion Terra Luna Classic voted for. All nodes has voted. All nodes and Orion actually have voted on this one. And, uh,. It is going to pass at this point, unless people change their votes. It ends on February 25th. And finally, the last proposal, we talked about it a couple days ago. It is the burn 800 million USTC through contract migration. I'm not going to read through the entire proposal. You guys understand it's to burn that um, risk harbor wallet that holds 800 million USTC Worth a ridiculous amount of money. You know my thoughts on how gray this area is, but it seems as though the community doesn't really care yet because it's 63.5% yes votes, 0% no, 36 no with veto, so some people out there do, and then 0.10% voting to abstain. It ends on February 26th, currently not yet met quorum, with 315 billion Terra Luna Classic voted for. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below, and of course if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere, 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord, and until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.